Welcome back to Fujitsu Forum TV. You join us mid-morning on the first day of Fujitsu Forum 2019. We've said it many times this morning already, but guests from over 80 countries are flooding through those doors, coming into the digital transformation zone where we are parked in the middle of it in our beautiful purpose-built studio. Guests right now, they're getting to uh, see the latest technology innovations from Fujitsu, whether that's the quantum-inspired digital enabler, the role of hybrid and IT. There's some great stuff out in the demo zone. We'll be bringing you some pictures again um, later this morning. Now, we're going to continue the edge computing conversation. I say this every year on Forum TV. There's always one conversation which naturally comes out of events at Forum 2019. Mm. I thought last year it was probably blockchain, how and why we should be using it across industry. But this year, there is a lot of commentary around edge computing and hybrid IT, and we're going to continue that theme. We decided to bring Frank back, who came and saw us yesterday. Thank you for coming and seeing us again. I'm Frank Reichardt, of course, Senior Director for Product Marketing here at Fujitsu. I mean, the edge computing and the hybrid story is just growing and scaling so, so fast. I mean, this edge to, claw to cloud phenomena, do we think businesses truly understand what that means or are they still just figuring it out? Or where are they on their edge to core to cloud journey, do you think? Well, actually, this edge core cloud thing is a huge driving force. And it's leading to something which IT managers wanted to avoid desperately for many years but it's now hitting them with full force. It's about a scattered, massively distributed IT. Uh, over many years, people wanted to consolidate their IT in these massive data centers where everything was under control, safeguarded, you could standardize things, you could consolidate things. There was this vision of the fully automated IT in the data center where you need exactly only one man and a dog to operate the whole show. Uh, so the dog was safeguarding the data center and the man was feeding the dog. Now, this dramatically changed 10 years ago when suddenly there was the rise of the clouds. Yeah? Everybody was over the moon with the clouds and started to consume cloud services. So from Amazon, from Google, whatever. And uh, naturally, this started a distribution process of IT. It's no longer only in the data center, it's also out in the cloud. But most worrisome is uh, the latest trend, which you mentioned, is the edge. With all these smart devices, everything is getting smart, yeah? Smarter, perhaps, than the colleagues in the office. And they're uh, <laughs> starting to produce tons of data. And it, naturally, you cannot all process them centrally. So outside the cloud and the data center, there will be massive instances of distributed IT called the edge. I'm interested to dig into the hybrid IT part of the story. I mean, hybrid was sort of heralded as this great white hope of IT some years ago. I'm hearing a lot about businesses having to dial back on their hybrid IT initiatives because it's kind of got a bit out of control and they need to bring it back into line. I'm imagining there's a lot of challenges ahead for businesses with edge computing and hybrid IT. What, what are the examples of those challenges that we're seeing? Yeah, uh, in, in the area of hybrid IT, when you start now, you have your data center and you have started to subscribe to some services from cloud providers. Then you take more cloud providers and then you have a kind of a multi-cloud hybrid IT. Now, what people, people typically did, they have some stuff running in the data center and other stuff running in various clouds. So far, so simple. But now this is actually not fully using the potential of a hybrid IT. It's just a collection of stuff. Yeah? In a truly hybrid IT, you can move things around. You can decide, I run this uh, on my data center, but then I detect for a certain time of a year, I need more compute power. So I add the cloud uh, as a logical part of my data center. So it's not separated in silos like it's today but you combine it, yeah? And that's uh, the real part of uh, hybrid IT, but it's more complex to establish it. I mean, it sounds like a really daft question, this, but because <laughs> I know Fujitsu's doing so much, but for viewers who probably don't understand the role Fujitsu has in helping customers chart these challenges, give us an insight into the role that Fujitsu is fulfilling yeah. for customers and partners right now. Yeah, if you really want to do hybrid IT, you have to do a lot of things. Yeah? You have to turn your data center in a more software-defined data center uh, so that it behaves like a, a cloud. Yeah? Also, it's yours. On the other side, you have to connect the software-defined data center 
with the cloud. Yeah? And uh, these are a lot of technical uh, skills you need, but also a lot of commercial things have to be uh, dealt with, dealt with, and uh, that makes it very complicated. This is why we in Fujitsu took experience out of many projects, of hybrid IT projects, and standardized it to ready-made solutions. Yeah? So we have complete solution stacks, which we call BrimeFlex, which make it a flexible approach uh, to build a hybrid IT environment. Do you think businesses realize that there's the hybrid and edge computing unison, or are they still understanding that? I mean, do we have organizations delivering a hybrid solution and forgetting about edge computing and vice versa, in your experience, or? Well, I think uh, it comes in parallel, yeah? You simply cannot avoid the edge, because for simple reasons, if you have massive data sources out there, it isn't a viable concept to funnel this all through to a central instance, be it the cloud or the data center. Yeah? You have latency with the networks. Uh, some, some devices even create terabytes of data, which is a lot, uh, which would digest, uh, fully congest uh, the, not digest, congest the network, uh, and uh, brings in latency, and if you have real-time processes, it won't work. Yeah? So you have to build, and you are more or less forced to it, uh, around the data center and the cloud, this edge computing areas, yeah? There'll be a lot of people watching this thinking, okay, this is making a lot of sense, resonating with some of the challenges we're perhaps as a leadership team discussing right now. But, but I imagine it's quite daunting having to embrace all of this. If you had one message for the viewers on their hybrid and edge computing journey, what would it be? Well, I think um, look for ready-made solutions which help you to bridge your IT from the edge to the core, to the clouds. Uh, it will take a lot of difficult uh, sizing, designing stuff around, and also look for a comprehensive service approach around it. Uh, so instead of uh, having a, a, a new community of IT vendors, which you can call at random to solve a problem, it's better to go for complete solutions and um, uh, have one throw to choke. I think the, the, the last comment we'll probably leave on the co-creation philosophy at Fujitsu, because I know embedded within that is having the very best partners available to deliver these solutions. Absolutely. I know you mentioned some of them at the, the top of the segment, but they're critical in delivering the right solutions to customers, right? Fujitsu's ability to bring all these pieces um, together, suppliers yeah. together, that's key. Yeah. We have a, a 20 years history of building ready-made solutions with a mix of own developed stuff, but also interesting products and technologies from partners like NetApp, uh, VMware, Nutanix, uh, Microsoft. And we have also the logistics to provide it as a full, fully fledged solution in one-stop shopping and all the services around. So we service all the stuff no matter where they come from. Yeah? Frank, thank you so much for coming by and talking to us. To be able to deliver these great solutions, you need brilliant service providers, service providers that you can trust. And trust is the theme of the next segment. What time are we at? It's 10.39 in 21 minutes time or thereabouts. We'll be bringing you the first keynote of Fujitsu Forum 2019, where you'll see President Takita and Paul Patterson and Rupert Lehner on stage talking about driving a trusted future. They're going to chart everything from ecosystem, agility, vision. They're even going to be looking at what that means um, for the data and, and how we access it. You really do not want to miss this segment. There has been so much mistrust in recent years. It's made us all a cynical bunch, but there are some wonderful solutions at play that if you have the right morality and the right ethics around the delivery of, they can unlock so much potential and value for your business. We'll be back live in 20 minutes to bring you that keynote. Uh, if you've got any questions ahead of it that you want us to segue to any of the guests this morning, use the hashtag Fujitsu Forum TV and we will get those questions answered live on air. Stay with us. We'll see you in 20 for that keynote. Just enough time to go and grab a coffee. In fact, is anyone grabbing me a coffee? I'm getting my own apparently. See you soon. <laughs>